Yeah. Okay, hello. This is our first video here at the VR Gig Blog. I'm at iFactory VR and I'm here with Alexander Kulik and Andrew Kulman. Okay, let's do something like that. I, so, what are you presenting? We are presenting the Globefish, a novel 3D input device we developed at Bauhaus University in Weimar. And the Globefish is basically a 3D trackball that you can rotate. And you can also push and pull it against the counter force of the spring to induce rotation. Now it's a little bit older prototype, prototype. it looks a bit um, not so nice, but <coughs> it works at least and we can show you how it works. So at the screen back there, you see what I'm doing. I have the, here the TAD model of the Globefish and I can rotate it directly by rotating the sphere back and forth, and if I want to move it closer, I just pull it a bit closer to the sphere, and further away. So the interesting point is that you can actually very easily distinguish between rotational input, which is position controlled, and translational input, which is rate controlled. And we did some tests using this device com as compared to using the space mode, which is completely rate controlled, in cut scenarios where you work with the right hand to control the mouse pointer and your left hand to control the 3D input device. Now here you can see how this works. You select the object to your interest with your, um, with your dominant hand using the mouse pointer and then you can move the things around. And here you can see how the globefish looks from inside. It's like these Maybe I should show it here. <laughs> That's more interesting. And you see, like, we got these springs where the globefish is mounted, and we measure actually the inductivity of these springs to uh, to get the translational input, because the inductivity of these springs changes when their length changes. And the rotation, the, rotation? Yeah. the rotational input is taken with optical sensors that you know from mice. And you can actually see this here. If I move this and then that, you can see here we have these mouse sensors. Well, here we go. Here we go. So these are just simple mouse sensors exactly. that allow to measure rotation. Okay. Exactly. And do you plan to sell that anytime soon? Well, actually, we'll be happy if somebody, if we get it to that point to sell it to a huge, um, yeah, to the people. Cool. Okay, so are you trying to find somebody to sell it for you, or will you sell it by yourself? Um, actually, I would be happy if somebody would sell it because I'm not very well in marketing. <laughs> But, um, I mean, I, I really want to use that device, so if nobody else will produce it, we will do it ourselves. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you, Alexander, and see you around. Thank you, Mark. <laughs>